Uh, just what your office is doing and for the students. Well, we're looking into this. I, I understand it's a really distressing situation for students who are in the middle of their education, for families, and so we want to work collaboratively, collaboratively with everyone involved, with the school, with UMass, with families. Um, I think it's really important that we have in place a process that works for these students that will allow them to complete their education. Uh, my office has a student loan unit um, and I've actually assigned them specifically to this matter so that they be available to work with families, encourage anybody with questions to, to call my office. But we want to make sure, as I say, that these students can find a way to complete their education. And that is going to require everyone to be at the table and everyone to work collaboratively. Was that with the, the student discharge? Because uh, I know we, we asked some right. for some background info. Can you just sort of explain that for me? So it may be the case that students who have taken on student loans might be eligible for a discharge of those loans due to their school closing down. And so there's a particular process. We can work with families and students through that process and help them to take advantage of the possibility of a discharge if they're eligible. And does uh, transferring sort of fall under that at all? About if you know trying to go to a different school or well, that's part of it too. Because obviously these students have worked hard in their programs of study. We want to make sure that that uh, credit that is available for transfer. Um, there are particular rules that are going to apply. But you know, my job is to try to help families in the state, and I have a lot of sympathy for for the students who find themselves through no fault of their own in this situation. But we've got to work with the folks at Mount Ida and at UMass too, because uh, you know Mount Ida was facing difficulties, and and uh, we are where we are. But I think it's important that everybody be working together in this process, and I want people to know that I do have this team in my office that folks can call uh, on our hotline with questions. I, I was just gonna say, I, if I could zoom out a little bit, I talked to the Commissioner of Higher Education and also um, the UMass Dartmouth Chancellor used to be at Becker, and they both said they expect more. Uh, small struggling colleges like Monada to close over the next couple of years. Um, I just and any any thoughts on that and is that is that concerning that that's gonna that's well, happening? Uh, yeah, of course that's concerning because um, anytime you know there's a school closure and we've seen it in, in my time in office how devastating that is for students and for families. I think all the more reason why we've got to get the right processes in place, uh, why there's got to be ample time and notice and an ability for students to transfer, to find other programs and the like. And so we need transparency, communication, and that's why I just encourage a lot of collaboration now and as we, as we go forward. I think it's also important that uh, families be given the best resources and information before uh, making decisions about higher education, which is an expensive proposition. And so, as an office, we worked hard uh, in partnership, for example, with the Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce on a student loan working group coming out with recommendations and things that families and prospective students can do so that uh, they're able to make the best and most informed decisions uh, on what is really one of the most expensive decisions they're going to make in their life. And, and uh, I, I've seen on Facebook a lot of angry parents and students. Um, do, do you, are, are you looking into how uh, transparent and, and the, the time of notice that, that uh, this, this all happened with? Well, right now we're, we're taking a look at uh, what the current state of play is because my first uh, concern is making sure that everything is done to help these students right now in real time, either transfer to other programs, have credits transfer, uh, potentially apply for loan discharges if, if they're eligible and just work with them and so you know again that's going to be the focus in, in the near term um, as we learn more about about what happened here but um, I encourage collaboration I think we need everyone at the table on this one.